channel so today i have this makeup look for you it's inspired by a makeup artist that i follow on instagram and i've followed her for a really long time now and i was really inspired to do one of her makeup looks recreated quite a few of her makeup looks in the past but i was really inspired to recreate this one i'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce her name because i don't want to like butcher her name so i will leave it on the screen now but you probably already follow her and if you don't then you should. I recreated this makeup look that she posted on her Instagram and if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look then please carry on watching. For my transition shade I'm going to be taking a light pinky shade from my Morphe 35C palette. I'm just going to be taking this light pink here as in her crease like her upper crease is very pink. So I'm just taking that shade on a Morphe M505 blending brush and just taking that into my crease and as you'll be able to tell my brows are already applied my foundation my eyelid primer that jazz is already applied just for the fact that i was in a bit of a hurry this morning and i knew that i wanted to film a video when i got back but i already had like my eyebrows done I just done my foundation not that you really care but you know moral of the story is that my foundation my brows my eyes are already primed just taking that into the crease and slightly feathering that upwards. I'm just flicking my brush upwards to disperse the colour. Just keep adding more colour until it's the intensity that I want it to be. I was going to do a really natural makeup look today, but I literally saw this picture and I was so inspired to do it. So that's why I'm doing it. I'm always like so inspired by her makeup looks. So if there's any makeup looks that she's done that you want me to do, then please just tag me in them or like, you know, tweet me them or whatever because she literally is one of my favourite makeup artists. I just love how like she's always so creative. I'm going to be taking a Zoeva 227 Lux Soft Definer and I'm just going to be taking the pink that's next to this one for so this one here and just switch my brush around i'm just going to be applying this more into the crease to just slightly lower than we applied the last shadow and again i'm just slightly feathering that in and up to the other shade it's much easier going in with a very light pink first than using like a deep purple okay then i'm going to be taking a mixture of this pink here this one and then this like pinky purple up the top. And I'm just going to be applying that on the same brush. And I'm just going to be applying that into this outer crease here. Also, you'll notice that I tapped off any excess product just by onto my little mirror. Just so then I don't get loads of product build up and the shadow doesn't like feel crazy up my eye. So like where your eye, like where you feel that like curve go in there, that's where you just want to push the shade, work it in. And again, it doesn't really matter if you get this on your lid. The lid is going to be covered up anyway. Just taking that up, blending it. It doesn't matter if you bring it up underneath the brow, like in the front part. Because her shadow is quite built up in there anyway. You just want to leave that brow bone nice and bare. And now she's going to be taking a deeper purple. And I'm just going to take in a mixture of this pinky shade that we just applied. And this deep purple here just tapping off any excess and this is just like a small pencil brush just focusing that again on my outer crease sort of reminds me of like a unicorn these purpley shades mixed together okay then i'm just going to go back to this zoeva 227 and i'm just going to mix blend all those shades together So just get that nice pinkly, pinkly, pinky purpley tone. I'm just going to keep building that purple up in the crease. We're going to be taking glitter over this anyway, so it doesn't really matter if you get any on the lid, like I said. Back in with the 227 by Zoeva. Try not to throw your brush around the place like me. What I'm going to be doing now is taking the black eyeshadow up here, and I'm just going to be smoking that into my crease. I'm taking that on a Morphe B42 pencil brush. Lightly applying this to start off with. So just slightly above the crease. I'm just going to zoom you in. And then just keep going back with that 227 by Zoeva. Just to help blend out the edges. You don't want to blend too much onto the black. Because then it might move the black up more. It almost has like... It stops just about 
here I'd say on her eye so just as you're getting to the like the more faint part of your brow that's where you want to just stop it just goes to her like outer corner what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to be applying some winged liner so I'm just taking my Urban Decay 24 7 waterproof liquid eyeliner and I'm just taking this purely for the fact that it has a really precise tip so I'm going to be able to create a wing with this quite nicely I hope I'm going to be quite creating quite a thick winged liner as you'll be able to see my eyes look really funny because i've wiped off some of my foundation around like my eyeliner because when i was like cleaning it up that's gonna be covered anyway by like concealer so what i'm going to be doing now is taking the collection glam crystals dazzling dazzling gel liner in number three funk and what i'm going to be doing is applying this just above that liner and I know this shadow on this eye looks a bit messy, but I'm going to be tidying that up in a minute. just wanted to get this glitter on first. She's actually using the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy, but I don't actually own that. But I think this is a good dupe. I could have applied like an eyeshadow underneath it, but I just thought I'd try this on its own. Just going over that black with my 227 brush right i've done like my face makeup off of camera like powdered my face and everything i'm just bronzing up my skin with the makeup forever pro bronze fusion in 30 um add some like definition back into my face to contour my nose i'm just taking my Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer this is in dark no medium dark or something medium one anyway a bit harsh at first but then i like to just blend over it in a second with my powder brush okay then i'm just going to be taking mac give me sun on the same bobby brown face blender brush as her skin is very bronzed in this picture if you're very fair and you use give me sun you want to be sure to take a very light hand with it because it can make you look very orange her cheeks are very bronzed in this picture so what i'm just going to be doing is taking some of the golden bronze from my anastasia beverly hills glow kit i'm just focusing this on the like top part on my cheekbone put it around the hairline then for highlights i'm just going to be taking bubbly just packing bubbly on blending it into that bronzer and then i'm just going to be taking the tiniest bit of sunburst which is the lightest shade in the palette just popping that just here, just slightly above bubbly. Because she's literally like glowing. To highlight the brow bone, I'm just going to be taking this matte white eyeshadow from the Morphe 35C palette. It doesn't look like she has anything too sort of shimmery on the brow bone. For the lower lash line, I'm just going to be taking my Zoeva 227 again and for the lower lash line it's very hard to see but i'm pretty sure she just has that light pinky shade going along the lower lash line because there's only like one picture where you can actually see and it's like the side of her face so just taking those light pinky shades from my morphe 32c palette the first two shades that we applied into the crease just taking that my zoeva 227 putting that under my eyes I'm just applying it on this brush because with the shade that we're using, like you don't have to be like really precise, but like smoky, and it's such a light pink shade anyway. But if you was doing this with a black eyeshadow, it would be really messy. I'm going to be taking the tiniest bit of that deeper purple, like this purple here, mixing it with this pinky purple. Sorry, I keep going back to the picture just to make sure I'm doing it right. And then focusing this just on this bit here. On the outer part just to define the eye then i'm just taking the matte black eyeshadow that we used earlier in the crease which is this one and i'm just taking that on a zoeva 317 wing liner brush packing that down and i'm just running that along underneath the eye as she has the tiniest little bit of black going underneath the eye i'm then just taking that zoeva brush again 
and more of those light pink shades just to help blend the black and i can't see if she has anything in her waterline but i don't think she does so i'm literally just going to be applying a bit of mascara the mascara that i'm going to be applying is the jordana best lash extreme volumizing mascara For the inner corner, I'm just taking a light little layer of the collection glitter liner that we applied on the lid. Dotting that in the inner corner. I don't think she has any blusher on in this picture. No, it looks like she just has bronzer on. So I'm literally just going to leave the cheeks like this. But for the lips, she does actually have a little bit of highlight on her nose. I didn't notice that. So I'm literally just going to be taking the tiniest bit of bubbly on my finger. I'm just going to be applying that to the tip of my nose. I haven't been wearing highlighter recently, so it's really weird to be wearing it again. And I'm just going to be taking some of Sunburst as well. Okay, now for the lips, we actually have something in common. Because she is wearing Requeem by Kat Von D. And I actually own that liquid lipstick. So I'm just going to be applying that all over my lips. And can I just say, this is one of the first liquid lipsticks I bought by Kat Von D. And I was expecting to like hate it on me because i know that purples bring out like green eyes but sometimes i think that purples can wash me out a little bit but i absolutely love this shade it's like a light lavender pink and obviously her lips are a lot bigger than mine i just have really small lips so please ignore that going over that So that's the end of this makeup look guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. They're always linked in the description box down below. And yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Also, if you have any like requests of any looks that you'd like me to recreate, whether it be from like a celebrity, um, someone from a TV program a makeup artist on Instagram or Twitter or anything like that, then you can always tweet me. I'll leave my Twitter here on the screen. Or you can always like message me on Instagram or leave me a comment, whatever you want to do. So yeah, take care. Bye.